Hey superstars, how are you going? So, I'm just going to set you guys up so I don't drop you. Alright, so you guys can see my little workstation here. So, it was requested to do some mug brownies. So, I am going to quickly whip those up for you guys and share with you how quick and easy it is. I'm trying a, a different angle here with my camera. If you saw the setup, it's hilarious. So, what we are doing, we have a mug. I choose a gigantic mug. Um, the recipe is super easy. It all goes into the one jar or the one mug. We mix it and we bake it. So what we're going to do is start off with our cacao powder. So it is two teaspoons, or sorry, two tablespoons of cacao. A bit of a smaller spoon than the tablespoon there. We then put in our chocolate pieces. I've used some organic dark chocolate pieces. Go straight in there. We've then got some flour, so I'm going to use a gluten-free flour because that's just the best one. You know when you're going to open it and suddenly you just throw it everywhere? Alright, there we go. So three teaspoons. Three, three tablespoons. Ignore that bit. Straight into the mug. You'll see why I've got a gigantic mug here. Three tablespoons. Then from there, we're going to add in the sugar. I'm choosing to use coconut sugar here, so just I'm using um, two tablespoons because the coconut sugar is a little bit less sweet. Um, but I'm also going to use some apple sauce, which will make it really, really quite um, heavier, but also saucier and also more moist. Then into that, we're going to add in our uh, baking powder, which is just a quarter of a teaspoon. There we go. From there, we're also going to add in our salt because that really combines the flavours. From then, we're going to add in our oil, which I'm using coconut oil, just a tablespoon of oil. And we're going to melt that one down. Put that one in the microwave. Then we're going to add in our applesauce. So I've just bought just the plain applesauce. You can make it yourself if you want to, but this is quick and easy. So you go one teaspoon of applesauce. And then we go some vanilla extract. And our three teaspoons of milk of choice. I'm going to use almond. You could use soy. Whatever's on the top of your food list, use that one. So three tablespoons of that grab my oil and pop that straight in and then from here all I'm doing oh and I'm gonna add just because cinnamon always makes everything amazing I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon now guys I'm starting the detox protocol today so I'm not going to be eating this one I'll be bringing it in for the guys at Yatla to try and see what they think. Give that a good mix around. And then you are going to want to wipe down the edges just so that it doesn't stick too much. But you could just use a moist finger to, to wipe around the edges and maybe a bit of paper towel. Make sure it's really well mixed, guys. And then I've got the oven already preset. Scrape it all in there. Scrape down your edges. If you've got a, um, the other one you can do without using your fingers is your spatula. What is a spatula? This one's a spatula. <laughs> so the spatula, just wipe it around the edges, scrape everything down, pat around the top of the cake. Or brownie, I should say. And then it's going to bake in the oven for about 14 or 15 minutes until it's set in the middle. Then pull it out. It's nice and simple. You can make these. You can microwave them, but I think at the moment we're getting enough microwaves. So that one's nice and easy. I'm going to pop that into the um, oven. And um, yeah, I'll bring that into the guys at Vulcan to try. So keep it nice and simple, 14 minutes or until it's cooked in the middle. Pop a little skewer in the middle and it should tell you if it's ready. You can make that in multiple batches if you've got a couple of mugs. Um, 
and they'll rise up nicely. So quick and easy one, anyone can do. You could serve that with yogurt, with ice cream. You could even pop some bits of fruit in there and bake it with the fruit in it. I'd love to see everyone recreate this recipe and tell me how you go. Super simple, no eggs, so we don't need to worry about allergens. If you wanted to, you could definitely add an egg into that and it will help make it a bit more light and fluffy. So you're welcome to do that, but I haven't done it today because I know that eggs aren't always the highest on people's list. But um, let me know what you end up creating because I would love to see what you're doing. I'm on detox, so I can't eat this. So you guys are gonna have to tell me what it's like. Enjoy, guys.